A hiker is thanking his backpack and cell phone for saving his life today. The hiker fell at least 200 feet down an icy slope on Indian Mountain yesterday afternoon near Income. It wasn't until five hours later a search and rescue team got him to Portniff Medical Center. Angelina Dixon spoke to the hiker today. Now, Angelina, is he doing better, and how did his backpack save his life? Jay, just an incredible story of a survivor. His backpack was able to slow him down that slope enough so that he could able so he he was able to grab a nearby bush. Just stay calm and don't panic. That's the voice of a survivor. Gary Fitzgerald Jr. says today he is doing fine. It happened around four o'clock yesterday in the bitter cold on Indian Mountain, just southwest of Income. Almost five hours later, the Portneuf Medical Air Rescue wasn't able to land, so rescuers had to save him by foot. Fitzgerald says he's lucky he had his cell phone reception, but recalls the scary fall. Head over hills, going down the hill, and finally got turned around, and my feet pointing downhill, and just arched my back as hard as I could, and dug my feet in, and my backpack is what actually stopped me from going all the way down. From there, the waiting and colder weather began to set in. Just a lot of pain in my knee. <laughs> and I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. Now Fitzgerald was hiking and all of a sudden stuck on an icy slope near Scout Mountain. This is obviously no icy slope. But no matter where you are, Justin Daly of the Outdoor Adventure Center at ISU has some tips for you when you go hiking. Familiar with a uh, map? Uh, compass and use of uh, GPS because uh, it, even for professionals it's easy for us to go out there and get a little bit disoriented. Daly says to let a friend or family member know where you're at and how long you'll be gone. Wrap me in a bunch of warm blankets trying to get my temperature back up. Make sure you have a first aid kit in your pack because that's what now, Fitzgerald was treated for non life threatening injuries at the Portnuff Medical Center, and he says he will not be going hiking anytime soon. Reporting live in the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Angelina Dixon. Oh, glad if things turned out okay for him there. Thanks, Angelina. Authorities say he might have frozen to death in those below freezing temperatures if he didn't have cell phone reception.